Introducing my new VR headset! My new VR headset! <sighs> hey there guys! And welcome back to the Color Bacon. Today I have a box. Um, and I mentioned this in my last Sunday morning bacon video, but, uh, oh, hair in my mouth. I have just got a brand new VR headset. It just came today. It's been a few weeks since my last Sunday morning bacon video. Hell, it'll probably be over a week before this one actually even gets out. Little did I know, it was actually going to be six entire months. But, nevertheless, this is my new VR headset. The Valve Index, and if you look on the front here, I say this is the front, it's, it's, it makes reference to Portal 2. I'm gonna just show that off real quick. There's this casual Portal, portal reference right there. <laughs> just to go along with all the fragility signs and no magnets and that. So, let's get this thing open and get myself my new VR headset. Where did I put that knife? Let's get this box open, shall we? I'm gonna prop it up with my foot. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, there we go. I can see it. I can see it now. It says Valve Index on it. Just eat that over there. Okay. Here we go. Valve Index time. Comes with a headset, controllers, and base stations. Pretty much everything you need in order to have a VR headset. Oof. Oh no, and it's tearing off the flesh of the box. No! Now the box doesn't look so nice because it has a massive gash on it. Jesus! That is a beautiful sight. Just, just get a look in there. I can't move the camera from this position, so I'm just going to use the zoom feature. Get in that box. Get in there. <laughs> but here, as you can see, we have El Controller. Like, oh, 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 okay. I've always seen people with these, but I was wondering how it actually feels to hold this. And it is great! Let me get my Vive controller. Yeah, because, as you may or may not know, I am upgrading from a HTC Vive to a Valve Index. And this is... Honestly, this is so much more comfortable on the hand than this thing is. Not sure how I feel about A, B, this, and then an analog stick. And then trigger. Because this has trigger and pad, so that's the same. It has a menu button and a start button. And there's a few buttons embedded in that. I wonder what this is. Not sure. B, A, not sure. There seems to be some sort of menu button there. And trigger, it's like... So this seems to be a different button layout. I'll probably have to get used to it in a little while. But... I probably shouldn't have yeeted that the way I did. But I'm just interested in seeing how the finger tracking works on this thing. I am super excited. I'm going to put this back in its place in there for now though. We've got the base station 2.0, which are going to be better than my 1.0 base stations on my Vive. And then, last but not least, the actual headset itself. Are you going to come out of there or are you strapped in to something? You are... Under this box that says hello world, I wanna I'll, I'll I'll look at that in a second, but eh. Ah oh, no, the wire is caught in the box further. I wanna actually look at this headset. This thing is beautiful. My lighting in my room really does not show off much very well, and oh no, I've accidentally taken the faceplate off. <laughs> Whoops, now I can put it on my head. <laughs> and then, how well is this going to fit on my head as is? 
Oh my, this needs loosened up a touch. Um, how do I do that? Okay, it is on my head. Do do do. Mm. Flip down the ears. This is cool. This is sick. I really want to play video games on this immediately. Like, oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna have to adjust this and set it up, obviously. Oh, uh, setup guide, guide deck configuration, um, guide de installation, um, enrich tung sal insetung, uh, Guia de Installation. Unfortunately, those characters aren't in any recognizable letters by my eyes. Uh, what appears to be a cloth for eye cleaning. And then safety maintenance, regulation, warranty, and agreement information. So, I'm going to keep these two the, and the cloth. The other ones are all other languages that I cannot read. <laughs> okay, got some tabs here to pull on so I can get at what's underneath, which is the hooks for the base stations. Um, are these for charging my controllers? I do think so. Nice. What's in this box? I'm not sure, but there's two of these boxes. So I'm going to open it and find out. Um, oh, I see, I see, I see. I, it's plugs for the base stations. I just need to get the cable, which I believe this is the cable, right? Yeah, this is my base station plug cable. Sick. Okay. And then are these screws here. Yeah, these are these are wall mounting screws. Oh wait, and there's is this replacement string for my controllers? Huh. Okay. Ooh, and a cushion for the back of my head. I would assume this is for people with small heads though. My head is large. So, I will not be having that problem myself. And last but not least, this box right here, I believe for the, for the headset itself. So that I can, I guess, power it? Yes? Yes, I believe that does go into one of those cables right there. I want to get this set up immediately with zero delay and hesitation. Okay, so I'm going to just set this all up and I'll continue recording once I got it set up. Okay, thought I would just take a second here to just show off something, right? So this is the new headset with like all the cabling beneath it and then this is my old headset. I had to, because it's a Vive, I had to attach headphones separately, so it's like, it's a very different vibe between the two, and also, because this one has the headphones built into it, I no longer have this strap going over the top of these wires here that always press down into the top of my head. Here, the wire doesn't even go over the top at all, it goes down the side, and then out the back, so, fair bit different, so it's quite nice, but yeah, I'm gonna get back to setting up. See you in a minute, I guess. Ah. Okay, and that is now the last bit of plastic off, I think. Oh no, wait, I have this front panel to do. Oh, the entire front panel came off. It's now exposed the inside of the headset because this panel came off. It's basically just cool shades for your headset. But now, 
I've got everything set up, all the firmware updated, everything screwed into the walls. That just sticks on metallically. So now I'm going to actually pop my head in. Ooh! Okay, so here we are in VR chat, and I feel like it's not quite on my head right, but I don't know why. But the visual quality is so much better, and it's weird not having to actually hold down on my controllers. And don't, not just that, but I can move my fingers individually now. Yee. Yee. And of course, I, I can do this. Which I'm going to use on Faith when she turns up eventually, somewhere over there. I'm just gonna be like, pow. Honestly, the visual quality is so much better. I can actually read things from a distance away, although I feel like that texture straight up isn't loaded in. But tomorrow I'm getting a new graphics card, so visual visual things are gonna improve as well. Drop a port. Honestly, just looking at the menus is so different. It's weird. I'm gonna hop through this portal. Let's go. I could just read. Why is that such an amazing change? Also, just accept that right off the bat. Oh! I'm recording a video right now! <laughs> Re- Really? Okay, Faith. Faith, right? I'm sitting here recording a video and he pops up like this! Oh my god. I got something even worse for you. What the fu- This is supposed to be an unboxing video! I can do this now, by the way. I can do this now. So, yeah, take that. Pwam pwam. Pwam pwam. Pwam pwam. Yeah, pwam 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 Come over here. Come on. I already know you're gonna be so creepy with that. Ugh, stop. <laughs> Jay! <laughs> Fuck you! Now it's time to show off my new graphics card. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Yeah! But yeah, I have decided, uh, in terms of graphics card, to go with the 2080 Ti. Uh, same brand as my last graphics card, so it'll work with the RGB in my system. Uh, so, that's all well and good. Not that there's much RGB in my system anyway. But, you might be wondering, with the 30 series just coming out, if you know anything about graphics cards that is, with the 30 series just coming out, why would I get a 2080 Ti? Now, the obvious answer, very obvious answer really, is people are selling them fairly cheap on eBay at the moment. I say fairly cheap, I, I paid like 500 for this, and this would normally cost 1200 so me paying like 550 for it wasn't too bad. Now people might say that that was bad because I could get a uh, 3070 for 450 which is apparently more powerful than this, to which I say, not if I wanted to get the ROG branding. The ROG branding on the 3070 pushes the price up actually above what it cost me to get this. That, and there is actually more VRAM on this. Um, because on the 3070, it has six gigabytes of, was it six? No, it's eight gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM which is the same type as RAM as this, but this is 11 gigabytes, so it's more gigabytes. I mean, sure, processor-wise it's as powerful, but it doesn't have the same amount of gigabytes, does it? I'm not sure how that's going to factor in yet, to be honest. I'll have to wait till the reviews pop up, which is going to be in October when the 3070 gets released. But, yeah. Another reason why I decided to go for the 2080i is because my computer is, it ha its motherboard it only has PCIe 3.0 and the 30 series are all PCIe 4.0, which I know they would still work, but there'd be slight bottlenecking here and there, whereas with this being a PCIe 3 card, 
um, it wouldn't be bottlenecked by my computer. So that's why I w that's another reason why. Um, and another reason is really everyone's selling out of the 30 series cards at the moment, I've noticed. It wasn't a reason before when I actually picked the cards, but 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 in the aftermath it is a reason they're just not available. Um, I was thinking about getting the 3090 going like full crazy, but again, PCIe 4.0 and also crazy pricing as well. And also, by the time I get a board that can run PCIe 4, um, there'll already be better cards at that point in time. Unless I literally decide to upgrade tomorrow to a new entire computer system, which I definitely won't do. Um, so, I might as well get the 2080 Ti, which is an amazing card anyway. And then wait a couple of years and then do a complete new system build when, like... The 5090 is a card. At that point, I would get that. So it's just it's just the process of thoughts going on inside my brain. So I'm gonna shove this thing in my computer. Now that's reflect. So far, from what I can tell, this place looks better than it did the last time. I'll try to put up a direct comparison. Oh, like I've just got an old graphics card. I feel I gotta say this, but on the recording doesn't really do it justice considering how short the recordings were. I don't know why they were like this, but this is the best comparison I could get. Hey, so I've just now been playing around with my VR headset and my new graphics card together, like pairing them together and just having some fun with it. And that has been great. <laughs> ah, got him. Uh, uh, yeet. Uh. Asshole. God, everything looks so bloody good. God, everything looks so bloody good. Anyways. Ooh, can I shoot a hoop? I'm too good. Eh. Yes! I did it! Shit! God, VR looks just so bloody beautiful now. I played this game back on my old graphics card on my old headset, and it didn't look anywhere near this good. Ah! Oh, hello, sir. Are you here running the raffle boxes? I don't like your ear. And then, oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Hmm. Oh no! Do not! Do not dra Oh no! Oh no! That's moving! Oh no! That's moving! Oh, 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 oh no! Come on! Come on! Hmm. <gasps> oh, Jesus! Um, but now I'm going to tell you a little bit about my history with VR and graphics cards. Because it goes back a few years, it goes back a few years. So, the first time I got a desktop computer was Christmas 2016. And I'd already known how to, like, modify computers, because I did a little bit of that in college. A uh, bit of computer work in college. And also, even years before, I had work experience in a computer shop uh, where I had to do stuff like that on rare occasions. But, you know, it came up a few times. Uh, so I've always had a thing for computers. And then, Christmas 2016, I got my first ever desktop. And for my birthday in... 2017, so it would have been my 18th birthday, I got my first ever VR headset. And I was so excited, I went to try and hook it up to my old desktop computer, which wasn't old at the, it wasn't old at the time, it's old now. Um, 
went to hook it up to my uh, desktop computer and as I went to do so I realized I had nothing to plug it into. I was fairly mortified and also later realized that I was a bit of an idiot because my computer at the time had a 1050 non-VR ready graphics card so it was uh, below minimum spec for virtual reality um, so yeah I couldn't plug in my VR headset on my 18th birthday and I was so gutted and I was so frustrated but I came up with a quick solution and that was to drive down to PC World miles away just to drive down to PC World hop into PC World, buy a graphics card and then drive home and set up, like, like just build it into my system and then set up my VR and I did that and that card that I got was the GTX 1060 now the GTX 1060 was the first time I'd ever bought my own computer component before like I'd already installed computer components here and there from again college and work experience but I'd never bought my own personal computer component the 1060 was my first you know it was my first <laughs> but yeah, so I rushed that in, and I got that in. I later found out that was minimum spec for VR at the time, was the 1060. So that was really a case of wiping some sweat off my brow, uh, as I realized that. And I just got that all set up, and I was super happy with it, and everything went great. And then Christmas 2019 rolled around, and I got a new desktop computer. This time, I built the entire thing myself. Uh, from components, that is. Not literally building the components. No, I got the components and then put together the components myself. For the first time ever. Which was great. But I didn't get a new graphics card. I just imported my 1060 from my old desktop to my new desktop. And... Then... My 21st birthday came around, 2020 birthday came around, and I wanted to get a Valve Index. Now, the Valve Index were incredibly hard to get a hold of, so we put a pre-order in for it, and just this week, the Valve Index turned up. But in the prelude, in the build-up to this week, um, I was actually waiting. After building my desktop computer back at Christmas, I was waiting because I heard rumour of new graphics cards coming out this year. So I wanted to wait till those came out so I could get, like, one of those. So the 30 series get announced about a month, not, not even a month, like two weeks ago now, a bit over two weeks ago now. And I see that they're PCIe 4.0 cards and I'm on a PCIe 3.0 system. So... I'm not sure whether or not I should upgrade to a 30 series card. But then I hear people are selling their graphics cards on eBay at fairly cheap for like a 2080 Ti. And 2080 Ti is damn good. So I wanted to grab myself one of those. So that's what I went to do. I went to bid on eBay and what I wanted specifically was the ROG Strix RTX 2080 Ti. I wanted an ROG one, basically. But for the life of me, I could not seem to win any of the bids. Everyone would just last second bid me, and it was getting quite frustrating. So, on Sunday, I, uh, Sunday that's just passed for me, but has probably long passed by the time this video came out, on Sunday, I found this ROG RTX 2080 Ti overclocks that I wanted. I bid on it for about 500 or so, which some people would probably say, 
I shouldn't have because of the whole uh, RTX 3070 being as powerful as a 2080 Ti. Um, but that's not the, like if you if you look at the price for the Strix version, the RED Strix version of the 3070, it's more expensive than what I paid for my 2080 Ti. So I bid on it and I lost the bid. So on Monday, I see another bid going. This one isn't an ROG, it's a Windforce. Uh, but still a 2080 Ti overclocked graphics card. Now I won that bid. But, an hour or two after I won that bid, the bidding, the, 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 the guy who was selling the ROG graphics card that I bid on comes back to me saying, oh, the highest bidder backed out, so you were the second highest bidder. Do you want to buy the card? Here's a second chance. Want to buy the card at exactly what you bid it at? And I said yes. So now I have a problem. Um, I am about to get another 2080 Ti, which I'm gonna have to find a way to get rid of because I do not need two. I only need one. <laughs> as cool as having two would be, um, they are also on different systems and I do want everything on my computer to look nice as well, to be quite honest. Having a nice and fancy system would be quite lovely. But, yeah, so I'm now gonna have to find a way to get rid of that. But, if you haven't spotted the parallel, uh, once again, it's been a case of I've bought a com desktop computer and then my birthday after the Christmas in which I got a desktop computer I get a graphics card and a VR headset. Both three years apart. It, 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 it's, it's a repeated event, basically. So it's kind of Kind of a little bit personally amusing, not sure how amusing anyone else would find it. For now, thoughts on everything. Valve Index is great, new graphics card is great, the two of them together is such an incredible upgrade over my previous setup that I'm just quite gobsmacked. Um, the only problem I have with my Valve Index at the moment um, is this. This is the faceplate that you attach to your, that you attach to the Valve Index, like, sink your face into. Now, the problem is, that's kind of narrow, and it's, unfortunately, too narrow for me to comfortably get my face in it properly. So, I have ordered myself a new one of these off Amazon that is a little bit wider, just so I can shove me face in it, just to make VR a little bit better. But, yeah, so that should be all well and good, should be turning up sooner or later, um, and yeah, but for now I'm just gonna wrap this up here. My computer is quite powerful now, and I want to go play video games. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.